artificial intelligence and blockchain, two big buzzwords in technology as well as business. And with me today is a company, Fetch AI. Uh, the CEO, Hamayan Sheikh, is going to explain exactly what Fetch AI is doing in these spaces. So welcome, Hamayan. Great to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. How you came up with the idea for Fetch AI and what is the company all about? So Fetch AI, uh, we are three co-founders and we've been um, working together on and off for roughly five to seven years by now. We have been focusing on uh, decentralization, not of just technology, but of businesses and how to devolve the power from bigger companies into more small and medium-sized companies. What we realized is that the main issue here is um, all the new machine learning and AI techniques which are coming. Uh, they're quite compute intense. Uh, they're very expensive to run. And you have a very narrow skill set, which mostly just big companies have. The other part of the game is you're looking at decentralization via blockchain, where you have different finance models, different currencies coming about. All of those uh, you know, financial things which are happening in the DeFi space and based on uh, decentralized ledger technology, uh, they also require a lot of compute and machine learning and AI. So our objective right from the beginning has been, how do you bring businesses the benefit of both these technologies? I'm thinking and make sure I understand it right. So maybe a small business, let's say somebody's got 12 grocery stores or something, and they know they could benefit from AI and even and blockchain. Different, yeah. you know, different purposes, different use of the technology of each of them. But they're like, oh, is it really worth the investment? You help them um, incorporate AI and blockchain into their businesses. We provide them the tools so that they can actually um, do that themselves. And it's not as complicated um, as it currently is. Uh, so you have a payment network, which is coming from the blockchain side. You then have a, how do you how do you manage your customer? How do you m make sure that your stocks are in the right way? And you can use machine learning and AI techniques for that. So blockchain is known for its decentralization. I mean, that's kind of the main tenet of blockchain, but AI is very centralized. So how do you combine both of those? Yeah, so that's, that really is the techniques we're building. Decentralized ledger technology really works well with a multi-stakeholder system. But the problem you have is a multi-stakeholder system is rather complex. What we're doing is we're saying it doesn't have to be centralized. You can do it in a collective manner where you control your data sets, you control your own processing. Are there particular industries or businesses that would especially benefit from this? And can you give me some examples of how they may so, use the technology? So a, a very good example, and I think uh, most people find it easy to understand, is a um, mobility space. Even just looking at a traffic uh, system in a city is a multi-stakeholder problem. And it's a problem which you're using machine learning and AI to resolve. A self-drive car is another example when a self-drive car is driving, it needs to interact with different things. Okay. I mean, even in, as you were speaking, I started thinking about governments could use some of this. I mean, you know, you got to be a little careful with the AI sure. and governments, but you mentioned the traffic and, you know, I'm thinking all the different things that our governments do and how they may be able to use this technology to just make services more efficient. If you now think even more um, further down the line, so if you have a self-drive car and a self-drive car needs to have a insurance, um, you could you could actually have a insurance on the fly. So you a car could be driving and getting insured as it's driving. And the government or the councils or the the um, city councils could actually control congestion by imposing dynamic congestion charges. Now you can't run such a system when you are all connecting to one big entity. You have to run your own AI and machine learning. Now we're talking about the internet of things and even 5G uh, technology and how it's going to kind of be the technology that makes it all work. So how can organizations make sure they are prepared for IoT future? Well, first, they have to be receptive to 5G because connectivity is a big issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you can see IoT devices themselves are dumb. Uh, because they they don't they can't have too much intelligence. They're on edge devices. They're on five G. They're on on edge, and they they have certain uh, processing capabilities. But you need to use that then to uh, connect it with other devices. What we have is a a multi agent framework. 
So what that means is you can you can assign agents to all these devices, and these agents um, they they have they can have their own um, self-contained objectives, and they can then speak to each other to actually deliver those objectives. So so while working for you or for that IoT device they could be collectively uh, delivering a very efficient solution. Uh, it's absolutely fascinating. And you can see how logically it would all work and benefit society. So, um, I mean, it's absolutely interesting. So where, how could we see Fetch AI's technology in action? Uh, we can see it. We have a live um, GitHub account. You can download a agent framework. You can actually have uh, various types of IoT devices. You can connect them to the agents and you can start speaking to other agents. It's already in beta phase. We are allowing people to test it. We also have a, um, a test case which we're building with uh, some of our partners, which is a uh, decentralized delivery network. So we're working on a new type of network where you actually optimize your own, your agent optimizes your a delivery network for you rather than for some other person. It would improve the um, the income the individual is getting, provide them more opportunities so you can have all three systems running within one agent. And it brings the cost down so any um, intermediaries which sit there in the middle charging you 15 20%, uh, they disappear. So all the revenue goes straight. And so the, for the consumer, the cost goes down. And for the service provider, the income goes up. Yeah, well, that's very interesting. And um, thank you for sharing uh, the story yeah. of Fetch AI and best of luck. And yes, we're like, quite excited like, about this. No, yeah. sure. And I feel like I'm kind of imagining the future. <laughs> and, you know, it really kind of started with the internet and then delivery. And then we're just expanding from there. Thank you very much, as CEO of Fetch AI, Hamayan Sheikh, for joining us. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back. 